Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here. I was scrolling through Twitter when I got through with work today and noticed a tweet from Tom Warren. And he's a great resource for all things Xbox, Microsoft, all of that kind of stuff. Um, if you're interested and if you're on Twitter and want to sort of look more into that. But he tweeted out something interesting. He says that Microsoft says it has offered Sony a 10-year contract on new Call of Duty games. It also says Sony has emerged as the loudest objector, quote unquote, to that division deal. And it's as excited about this deal as Blockbuster was about the rise of Netflix. So, to me, this is kind of a shots fired sort of thing. And this this article is actually coming from The Verge. So, I wanted to kind of read through that and talk a little bit about it and see what you guys think. Hey, as always, if you're enjoying this channel, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe. It really helps out in terms of viewership, in terms of growing the channel, all of that. So, I really appreciate your support. So, let's take a look at the actual article and what we see here with this. Um, again, that same information is sort of restated at the beginning of it. It says Microsoft has offered Sony a 10 year contract to make future Call of Duty games available on PlayStation if its proposed Activision Blizzard acquisition goes ahead. So, there were some rumblings a while back about something like a three or four year deal on PlayStation. Jim Ryan of Sony did not like that, didn't want to go for it. So now they're kind of extending that out, it looks like. Uh, Microsoft President Brad Smith confirmed the deal in an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal today, noting that Sony has emerged as the loudest objector. And then that's when they go on to make the quote about uh, Blockbuster and Netflix. So this is one of the first times that I can remember where Microsoft has kind of taken its gloves off a little bit. I mean, this is a, a very kind of straightforward comment uh, noting that what they want to do is what they see as the future of gaming. And Sony is just upset about this because, you know, they see this acquisition and this deal and where they're moving toward uh, with their gaming platform as being total opposite of what they want to try and accomplish, sort of this, this exclusive platform sort of thing that they uh you know go with with their first party games that are released and again sony does have a subscription service it's not really the same thing as game pass at all i mean i have got access to one of the tiers with playstation i actually can't remember which tier it is i think it's the middle tier it's not the same thing at all it's not nearly as good and i think what this microsoft uh spokesperson brad smith is trying to say is that sony realizes that and they're scared. They're scared about what Microsoft is doing here and the progress that they're making. He then goes on to say, we've offered Sony a 10 year contract to make each new Call of Duty release available on PlayStation the same day it comes to Xbox. Uh, and we're open to providing the same commitment to other platforms and making it legally enforceable by regulators in the United States, United Kingdom, and the European Union. So again, I think what this really is, is Microsoft trying to offer concessions where they can to make sure this deal goes through. And I think they're trying to be uh, visible about this for the public just so they can let everybody know, hey, we're not trying to be shady here. We're trying to, you know, show that we respect who Sony is and all that. But again, you can tell with this sort of statement, in my opinion, especially this blockbuster Netflix kind of thing, that they're getting a little bit sick of what Sony is constantly trying to do here to make themselves look like the underdog, even though they own the market share of gaming, as has been stated in a number of other publications that have come out recently. So this is interesting. Um, it seems like this ongoing drama, the saga continues to ramp up. And I'm just curious about what you think about what Brad Smith has said here. Do you agree with this statement about this comparison between, you know, what Microsoft is doing being sort of the, the next evolution in game access and in gaming as far as Netflix was to Blockbuster? And so, again, it's a good comparison and it seems a little bit snarky, but I'm not super surprised at this point. I'm sure they're getting tired of everything that's going on with Jim Ryan and Sony. But let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And as always, let's have a good discussion.